Hi everyone and welcome to the next part. So um, today we are working on the uh, collision thread I think. So here's what we did in the last video and where the problems are. So um, click on play and let's see. So we're collecting things up and if we drop now they're not displaying here on the ground. So we want this to happen now. So um, what do we do? We go into our third person character of course. We open this up. And we also open our item slots. So here was everything we did. So on this on click, we want to do something from the outside of the third person character. So and what we do want you to do is uh, simply doing here um, everything we do on the tabulator press. So where was it here? And we want to actually build ground items again. So um, probably it will be just simple to bring this behind this one and test this of course out. So we pick them all up and we build them but they're not displaying here. So it's not that simple. So um, where is the problem? Um, it could be something with the trace. So the build ground items here. It's not the problem. But something with the uh, trace, multi trace here. So <coughs> the multi trace, where does the multi trace happen? I forgot it. It should be somewhere here, probably, no, ah, there, there it is. So the multi-trace is the problem. We need to redo the multi-trace when we drop the, the, the item. <coughs> Sorry. So what we do is we go here in to the TPC. Let's bring the TPC in and let's say multi-trace and let's do this again and then we build it again. So I think this will fix it now. So every time we click on dropping an item it should redo everything for us. Yeah, this works fine. Okay, um, yeah, that's it for this part. Let's do collision now. So um, let's go into our inventory. And let's say inside our master item, okay, we have here no items, so we can't do here the collision. So let's go into our apple and do everything here inside the static mesh. So this could be probably a problem because this is not in the middle. So um, we need to bring this up here. Yep, this is okay. So now um, yeah, should we go with physics or with collision? Um, oh, let's say we want to have them some physics. So let's play and check here. So yeah, we are stepping up on it. It's, this is not what we want to have. So um, we can say physics simulation, but uh, let's actually say that the character can step upon it. Mm. So, actually, we uh, on the construct. I think we can do something about this. Let me just look into it. Okay, I think I have a simple way to do this. So, uh, we just let this everything like it is here. <coughs> Sorry, but of course. Here we want to have not the physics actor, but we want to have the costume. Everything should block except for pawn here and ignore. So this should probably work. So let's see. Yeah, and we can just go through the items. It's not the best thing, I think, but it's okay. We could do block, but it will just stop the gameplay and I think this is not what we want so um, we just make it like this 
and we can also say this for the weapon so it should ignore uh, it should of course simulate physics and it should ignore the pawn like this so what we have here now you can see everything's dropped we simply get them all we're dropping them and they landing on the ground and yeah they're going <coughs> sorry of course this was a bit mistaken here so let's see there they're going um, on top yeah so we should bring in some random drops in front of us and this is the next thing we would do I think so let's go to our third person character uh, yeah third person character and go to the drop item and let's work on this one here so probably the mesh is not the best thing we can do here I would say better would be something like we did with the traces so we use here the uh, get world location and we add it with the forward vector and we multiplicate so this whole thing here we can just simply bring this in here so we just use the camera um, with a trace but probably this is um, yeah it's okay so let's just make 1000 is too much but let's say 500 in front of the camera is the location but we just don't use here the thing we um, want to break the vector want to make the vector so we have control of everything and what I want to have control of is of the Z so we can determine the height so let's see this one here how this works oh, let's bring everything in let's open the inventory and let's drop them yeah they're dropping in front of us and always on 200 above the zero point so the next thing to um, make you better is when we now are on a hill or something it will drop inside the hill and this is not what we want so um, we should just simply make another trace there to determine the uh, possibility of dropping the item there so what I want to do here at the whole thing before is uh, another line trace so let's make a check for ground trace so it gives us um, yeah a bug fixing for uh, mountains and such stuff so um, what we do here is we do another sphere trace um, by channel is okay I think and it will give us the location where we can drop here so uh, the start point and the end point will be something we will set from there so check for ground item here so the start point will be um, let me think of it so we're tracing with the drop in front of us yeah this is okay I think so this is uh, the start and the end how would I do this so probably the start and we go here into this and we don't want them to have an end so we will do this in a few seconds and the start is not um, exactly where we trace but it will be the end so we need to call this end and the start point will be the end point so break this make this here will be everything we did here but 1000 above this one so uh, not 1000 like this but plus a float so plus 1000 above the point so we're checking for anything that's under this one so um, get the radius on 20 persistent 
and let's see if this is working at the moment so what we do here okay play and let's see okay of course we need to grab them all and then drop and we see it's going here and it's tracing only to the point where we dropping so what I want to do is something like this so okay again so here now it's dropped inside the point but we can say hey I use this one and not inside so how we do this is um, we bring in here and if of course so if we hit something um, then we will set a variable to or <coughs> sorry let's actually not say variable but we return something um, and yeah which will be input of course so actually when I think about this this is uh, just simply this input and that and that's it so if we hit something we will use um, the hit point so break this and the location of course this is what we needed so let's get back into the drop item so if this is true and then we want to use and else we want to um, set something so what we set here is a variable so which will be the location so location to spawn and the location to spawn will be set it here so um, if this is true so we're um, hitting something then we want to use the location to spawn and if we don't we want to use this here to uh, the location of the camera and 200 in front of us um there again set and put this in and bring this together and also connect this with this and let's play so first let's test the normal so it drops normal so now let's get there and it drops on this thing there so yeah this is working quite good I think so this is all a bit messy so let's make this a bit clearer here so uh, now we can say here from this one can say make a local variable called item data so we're setting it here all the time we can just simply bring this in here and also there And we can put this here in. So we're making like this. Can close this a bit. And we can also bring this down here. Yeah, let's just make it like this. This is okay, I think. So now it's all a bit better aligned. Like this. So it looks a bit better so probably a next cool step will be to give them a random number here so we're not dropping or we dropping there in front but we're adding some floats here which um, would in range so float in range there is it um, let me just see random float range from stream no it is not so um, we would simply do this by subtracting so the normal one minus 15 for example and the normal one plus 15 like this is the minimum and the maximum for the X 
and for the y we do the same so we just connect them them inside here inside there just bring them in and we can test this now so it's dropping there and it's dropping there and it's dropping there and it's dropping there so now it's somewhere here inside this radius with plus five, 15 and minus 15. So and I think this is also good for the drop on top. So check for ground here. I make this one. So this will be here and this will be there at the end. Or let me see this one goes yeah at the end. Well, oh, my, my bad, not at the end, at the start, of course. And this one will be plugged in here. Simple as that. So now also the dropping should work perfect. So let me go into the uh, tab here. And it looked like it also, so I probably do here 100 and 100, 100 and 100. Probably the float is too small, I think, um, and integer would be better because integer just uses full numbers and not point numbers. So here, what well, we can see Okay, the end point is always the same, but the start point is correctly. So we need to do something here. Um, the end point should be. Um, yeah, how, how will I do this? So probably this whole thing is not really correct, but it would be correct to just say, hey, we're here we do this and just say hey okay let's get this one also into the end so we are simply okay no this is not working because we're breaking here and using um, using the Z 200 here <coughs> so the end point here should be um the same but the end will be breaked upon so let's just get this one here inside here but without this so that will be the same this one will be the end point put this in here now we can look if this works. So yeah, now at the ground the thing is split it up and at top it's the same. So there it's the same. Uh, could probably say um we use here this one. So we are making here everything random and then we use the same points and then it should work as supposed so now we have straight lines yeah fine and again I took so much time for this and yeah I'm sorry but we will work in the next video on the next steps thanks for watching and yeah have a nice day bye